Okay, in the last section we signed up for our Gmail account. In this section we're going to take a quick tour of the Gmail account. This is the page that you will see as soon as you finish signing up. It says congratulations, it's very nice of them, thank you very much. Show me my account, click on this blue button here. Loading testymulligan at gmail.com Upon first impressions, my, get that out of the way. Testy Mulligan, on the top right hand corner it confirms that this is in fact your email account. At the top here you have a menu structure, Gmail, which is where you are at the moment, calendar, which allows you to access the calendar obviously. We'll go into more detail about these in later tutorials. Your settings, we'll go into that in later tutorials as well. On the, t the left hand corner is your main menu. The mail, this is where you land, this is the default landing place when you open your account which is in here where you have mail. Now Gmail kindly sends you three emails when you open up your account at first. You're customizing your Gmail, importing contacts and getting Gmail on your phone. Now we will be covering those at a later date but once you set up your email if you want to read those do by all means. This will be where your contacts will be stored. If you click this in the bottom right hand corner, left hand corner, no right hand corner, is where you can assign tasks, a new contact, go back into mail here, compose mail, which we will be covering in the next short video, your inbox indicator, telling you that there's three, one, two, three, obviously, Google Buzz. We'll go into that in more detail in a separate tutorial. Starred, which would be important emails. For example, if we click these, they will be stored as important. Sent, I think that's fairly obvious. Drafts, which is obviously those that you are doing at the moment and not sent. And here we have the Gmail labels. Now, Labels is just another word for folders. This is where you can store or have mail directly sent into. You can create as many folders or labels as you wish. Here is a little chat box. You can chat in real time to other Gmail users. And it appears you can call phones also. I think this is only in the US though. And if you want to invite somebody to Gmail, this is where you would do so. But they would have to have their, uh, an original, or sorry, they would have to have an email address as is. In here, if you want to do a search of your email, this is where you would type your keyword. And if you wanted to search the internet, you would just click this button instead of this one. Now, I hope that was fairly straightforward. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. There will be a PDF that you can download on the right hand side of this video and it will give a little bit more detail and you'll be able to read it at your leisure. Thank you very much and see you in the next short video which will cover composing an email, sending an email from Gmail. Thank you.